Hey folks, me again. Glad you clicked. Every click is counted somewhere. Prepper, prepper notes. So a lot of information on prepper stuff out there, how to prepare for it. whatever you want to prepare for, right? So, all right, let's say you want to prepare for, we're prepping, right? We're prepping for the big one. We've got the plan. Well, so what are you prepping for? You need an idea about that. Because a recovery time for a disaster depends on the disaster. If you're underground, below water level, did you prep? You see, this prepping leaves too many holes if you get into it. Let's call them rabbit holes. One of my favorite terms, you know, the things you might not even see and you walk around and ignore, yet they'll break a horse's ankle. So, prepper. How would you go about being a prepper? And you can't until you decide what you're preparing for. Any natural disaster is going to have recovery time. A man-made disaster is very likely to have recovery time that has to include pollution. The weapons of man. The chemical refinery 30 miles upriver that got destroyed and has polluted the water supply for the rest, oh, let's just say three generations. It's polluted the water supply with something you forgot to prep for. Something that when you said, oh, I should prep for this and went to look to be prepared for that is a $10,000 instrument to even discover if you need to worry about it. If you could discover what you were supposed to worry about, the filtration systems for the air are very specific, very well monitored, and require maintenance and parts. So your air filtration bag house that you spent some money on, right? You're Bill Gates. You don't give a shit about money. So this prepper comes down to disposable income, defines what you can prepare for. If you join forces and join resources, financial resources, who controls that? Who makes the decision? How many bombs do you need in your hole so when you come out, you're safe? How many bags of seeds do you need to have in reserves? Because you've studied farming and crop failure and know that the world outside has changed so when you plant your seeds for next year, for the next generation, what will they grow up with? What isotopes, what chemical compounds could be in there? What is a biological disaster? Was it a nuclear disaster? What is it, a chemical disaster? Was it that some massive plague frozen in the Arctic for a million years comes back to life, gets released into the environment. The rate of its growth, the rate of its infecting the population 
begins to get mapped with what civilization is left and civilization avoids those areas and tries to figure out if they can ever go back to those areas or the next generation has lost the ability to know these dangers the next generation was taught a language that doesn't understand the sciences Science is a global understanding, a common understanding of what we learn. It also gives you an understanding of what we don't know. So, serious prepper talk here, right? If you want to prep, decide what you're prepping for and understand the disposable income it's going to take to do. This is the fallacy of the Bill Gates bunker that there's a few articles about. Now, above that idea of prepping, that it's actually a part of that idea, comes in a community thought. Building a community to survive, right? This is... Uh, community of faith maybe faith that together you can have a better chance than coming out of that bunker by yourself totally understandable survival skills we've learned community is stronger than individuality community as a whole means much more than individual the heroes come and go the gods come and go through a community and if the community sustains it builds upon what it what it learned so ask a prepper question but the first question is <laughs> what do you think you can be prepared for can could whatever you're hoping for sustain itself for the duration of the conflict which conflict are you planning for? Are you planning for climate change? Are you planning for war? Are you planning for famine? How do you figure which weapons you need? How high do you build the wall around your compound? How long can you keep that community did you bring a blacksmith? Did you bring a ton of iron ore? Because in five years, you're going to need to know how to mold and cast something. Where is the replacement for the solar panels? It got destroyed in the first minutes of the conflict. The solar panels that age. The solar panels that need to be cleaned once in a while up on the surface if they are there so that hole needs energy how long how much energy does that hole need a managed battery bank can last on average eight to ten years in a waiting mode <clears throat> And this isn't the battery bank that you see on most YouTube videos. The electronics that are required, if you design that into your rabbit hole, the electronics to require just the battery system, the facts of MTBF capitals, Meantime between failures means you need a mechanic that's MacGyver. I don't know a lot of MacGyvers. I think the word for what m might be is a polymath. Yet that's an aspiration, so 
preppers consider your prep if you ignore or minimize the questions what's the answer that you're looking for I don't disagree with preppers I disagree with the intent or not I don't even disagree do what you can disposable income opens so many ideas up but again so as a prepper, your prep, again, has to include water treatment and air treatment. What level of water treatment and air treatment are you ready for? If you look at properties, because nothing's new, right? Everything you're going to look to has been walked over by a person. It's been surveyed. It's been looked at. Probably the mineral rights underneath that land has been surveyed and paid for and leased out before you even come near the acreage. And when you sign the deed and hand the money over, you haven't changed unless you have the lawyers and the wherewithal to do the background on the property. The elemental and isotopic surveys that you would need to understand that your water supply is safe and will be safe for a week, a month, a year, a decade, a generation, ten generations. This is what these big institutions look at behind the closed doors. This is the level of forethought and engineering and discipline, those pillars of knowledge, those institutions, those big secrets that honestly, how much detail you, we, we need institutions. Faith, religions are an institution among many. The power of beliefs is cool. But the reality of the planet is cooler. Much harder to understand. So, way too short of a prepper talk. If you get serious, it gets expensive. So the best thing to do is go buy the land and start with intention to live there in the community that's there and strengthen everything around you, not just you. Isotopes.